not I'm going to gate. Uh, what do you think? About to whoop some little kid's ass. Hey! Alright, put your color rush jersey on. What color is yours? Uh, I don't know how I'll wear my old white. Thank you, Coach. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately Sorry. would have been, and he's simply Let's taken go. a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Right. You have to go all the way to the settings, like all the way home settings. You can't do it. In the, you can't do this in this. You can't do it in this. I don't think. Uh, try accessibilities. Oh, there it is. it's here. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. I have mine off at the. No, it's, a, it's actually regular settings. My bad. What is the accessibility settings? Entering settings screen, you have 18 oh. options. Menu uh, narration settings. option is set to office selected. Volume control. Volume control. My bad. My bad. No, he did not. Marcus did not put that in the chat. <laughs> you know the all-star vote, right? How come I'm not in the fan vote for the all-star race? Because you're already in the all-star race, Depot says. Oh, goodness gracious. I love you, Marcus. All right, I'm waiting on you. I thought you were ready. What's the fuck? Mike, Mike. 380! Hey, we gotta get this stop here, D. Cheater. Wilson, give her that, give her that. Carson. Blitz coming and down he goes. Clay Matthews brings the heat and gets the sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm hit them with a screen soon. To try again after the sack. Wilson, it'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Well, as this game continues to evolve in the NFL, you know how much coaches love run after catch, but you know what they love even more? Completion. Yeah, just holding on to the ball. Catch it, cover it, tuck it away. Whatever you get after that is almost gravy. That's how a lot of these receivers are being taught now. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. 
And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right Go at the nine-yard line. Let's go. On first and ten, gone. Looking for Cooks and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Welcome linebacker. To the Bobby Bobby Wagner Wagner. Show. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. Certainly not the cleanest of starts to this football game. Back-to-back -back plays yield turnovers in this first quarter. So there's not much flow right now. A very choppy game. And I know this. It's a copycat league. We say it all the time about the NFL. But I'm not quite sure this is what they had in mind about something they wanted to emulate. No, you don't want to emulate a turnover. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here. First and ten. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice game. Now Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. J.D. McKissick, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Gets fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 yards there, first down. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling? Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13 nothing early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Yes. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody find someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Barkevius Mingo in that time on the tackle. So you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 
Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. And here's another interception, the third on, of this man. first quarter. Picked off around the 27. That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now it's Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. How much stuff? Team in the first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, Again. and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. John Johnson on the coverage. Uh, meatball. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He's tight right here. He's tight on the right. Tight on the right. Everybody loves Ready Player. How you hate Ready Bang, 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 bang. 24 is the mark. Again, Wilson. I oh, know. I knew I voted for it. Wide open receiver. Complete. After that, I don't remember. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense uh, probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender God, away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While the training staff works on him, We'll step aside and be right back. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Dance into his left. Touchdown, Seahawks! Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes the score 21 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. 
Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and call it inside guard against this. Straight out every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. A throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one, a 14-yard play, and it keeps this drive moving. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Mike's by four. Hey, watch that. Hey, watch the ball. On first down, gone. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. 21-0, our score after one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw, Goff. Really, Mayor? And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. <laughs> Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Pass the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It, that that pick six that. extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter, but things don't improve for us uh, then. I, don't think so, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. Did you? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now know. as this one's in the air. That's fielded in the end zone. Pure pressure. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive, but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says, Big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On second down and four. Golf. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The 330-pounder Al Woods brings the boom on the sack. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Oh God, the four-time all-factor. And now the up man has it. It's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And time finally runs out. He oh, can't no. get rid of the football, and he's oh, no. taken down. No. Baby, come back. Please. Now, following the sack, they'll come Sorry. up here on a second right, down and 12. Sorry, baby. Here I come. Here I come. The first he throw for the backup. Oh, end. he's lit. Over the middle, that's caught by he's Metcalf. Good. He's off. Let's go. Touchdown, Seattle. D.K. Metcalf, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. The backup QB is a legend. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And in hindsight, uh, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only we get back it. to the... That ain't shocking. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. He's got a first down past the 30, and he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. A big pop. hitter. That one goes Let's for go, 40 go. yards. And a nice little broken tackle run there by Todd Gurley, the 10th pick in the 2015 draft. And that's what you get with him. That full package of speed, power, able to catch the ball in the backfield. Many people doubted him coming out because of the knee injury in college. <laughs> They're seeing the full Todd Gurley now, and it hurts. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward, and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. On second down now, it's Henderson. Evades him at the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Rams are in for six. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row. We're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they broke it up. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply Let's taken go. a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back on the field. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because... The way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. And now Lynch to the right side and complete to Metcalf. A well-executed 22-yard gain. I just hate pistols. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, when we talked about them, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. A gain of six there on first. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. Damn it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. 
And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Flushed out right. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's... And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And he's going to let it go deep. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. Let's go, defense. Our time. This is our time. Light twist. Uh, first and ten. It's Lynch. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, it wouldn't be that bad. Well, one thing's for sure, sure, they're still taking their shots downfield, even with a big lead. No, I think it's way too early to go into a shell, so I like what they're doing. Continue to take your shots. Continue to be aggressive. It's not their job to slow themselves down. To throw on second and ten. Lynch oh, my God. Oh. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Throw the ball. I'm hitting circle. Man. They bring him down. Samson I was hitting circle that time. He's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Oh, that might be a mess. Yeah. And this is just outside I the right it's, like, I think it's no go. good, and this score go. will stay right where it is. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. Tackle coming from the safety, Trey Flowers. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be third and ten. From the gun, here's gone. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When they talk about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, a real head-scratcher there. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. So first and ten now from the 30. Now Lynch. And down he goes. The pressure getting to Lynch. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. 
Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Lynch now, 5 out of 10, 50% throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. Here's Lynch. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's Lynch to throw. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turned into a nice play. Now Paxton Lynch on third and long. Hey, he threw it this time. He'll find Metcalf. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. I got this guy. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a the half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. Let's go! Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. You ain't got nothing. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The third quarter starts with a run by Gurley. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of them. And Gurley here fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Get him, boy! And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Now it's Lynch. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. DK Metcalf. 
with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the fumble recovery leads to six points for the Seahawks. Myers connects on the PAT, and that will extend this big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 20. I got you, boy. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Look like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. His carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Following the fumble recovery, here's Lynch. And he fires one incomplete. The rookie DK Metcalf, the intended receiver, and it's second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss up 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball. That was even the close. Seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. Lynch to throw. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people at the block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can play I decide big. to run the ball. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. I got you. I got you, son. I got you, son. Now Lynch to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. 11 yards there. First down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Five yards, a good run there. And now second and goal. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. All day, baby, all day. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. And now whistles and a flag. And I think really we got to jump here. So that's going to move him half the distance. First of all, you can't jump in this situation. But think about your play calling now. Could easily change what you want to do and maybe make things a little bit easier. 
Check 52 to Mike. On oh, second down, here's Lynch. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf, but now it's third and goal. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, here we go, here we go. keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Lynch with it on third and goal. The quick slant caught, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Will Disley, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, what a move. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. At their own 17-yard line. Goff will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Now Goff. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Dead man with his man or zone. Deep ball, short ball. That was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big. And now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Goff now looking to throw. Going deep for Walker. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Yep. And a failure on fourth down on the other side leads immediately to a first and goal. Now a toss play. It's Carson. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. Myers connects on the PAT, and that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Going deep for Walker. And nearly intercepted. That would have been a hat trick, his third pick of the game. Instead, second down. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. Third down here. Let's go. You tighten up. To throw is gone. Eluding the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Oh, that's that's incomplete, that but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. He'll let this go for the end zone. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. 
trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yeah, several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. He's going to let this one go deep. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. Check, 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 check. Hey, Delta. Now Lynch on first down. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Throwing again on second down. Lynch catches made by Metcalf. And all the way in, touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf, 56 yards. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead will swell by one more. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Golf will lead the Rams up here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally, taken down at the 15. A big run there by Gurley. And even 60 yards for him on the ground. And a guy that can change the game shows you a glimpse of it right there, taking the ball down inside the red zone. It just tells you how tough it is for a defense. You just hold on all game and essentially hold your breath. Will they break a big one on us at any point during the game? It just happened right there. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Daryl Henderson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Rams do gain a bit of respectability. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. Now a give right side. Carson. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Rashad Penny, his first touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. Now Myers for the extra point. I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. 
Back now in Seattle, Washington, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final I'll play of the third quarter. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 40. Delayed give, Goff to Gurley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. A shotgun snap for Goff. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. That catch good for five. It's third down. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot. Not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. Third and medium. They opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. Goff now looks to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. He's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. The Rams on third down. They're hitting at just 30%. Three for 10. This is third and 10. Here's gone. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Oh, look at this play call. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and ten. From midfield now, here's Lynch. Looking for the out route, and he's got more. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, it still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them during this game. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. First and goal. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Rashad Penny with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And this Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken very short. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. A big play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. And oh, can you believe it? He misses another one. His third so far. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. So that one will be accepted. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Golf 
Goff will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 40. Out of the gun, Goff. And Cooks has it over the middle. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll bring up a second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the... And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield, and the Seahawks have picked it up. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free. Anything you can do to slow them down. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. The pick up there, five yards. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Kaderil Hodge, his first touchdown on the year. And it's for pride now, but the Rams do get a bit closer. Like I said, I was just about no to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. Like I said, they're so kicking me. To... The kickoff team on the field just now hit as they will send this the one best. away. And the kick goes outside the white lines. That's why the flag comes out. Yes, and that was an error by the kicker, and it will give the offense great starting field position. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Here's a give to Penny. And an alley to run. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, Whoops. he used to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one she's of our singing guys. too. Oh, she's, this she's, might be she's, good. she's on like the fifth tune. At yeah, she, she left scales way behind. But he used to sing something about turning out the lights. The party was over. That's it, baby. We're going to work. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 40. Watch out, watch out, watch out. From the gun, here's Golf. Forced out to his left. Now he'll let this one go. Deep left. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now a draw as Goff gives to Gurley. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. But we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. 
Gurley. Well, seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Wait a second. That's got to go. be a mistake. They declined it. That doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, it doesn't at all yep. because I'm on, I'm on. you want that penalty. Single, all right? single. They just picked up a first One down, right? You want the penalty. Uh, I, am, I am so confused right now. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. <laughs> Is that not the very definition of a tough yard game? Now, is that one where as the receiver, you go to your quarterback and say, why'd you even throw that? <laughs> yeah, I think you do. And I think you wonder, what type of a route are you going to send me on that only one yard is going to be the result? If I'm going to go in there and take contact, let's go ahead and get something out of it, not just one yard. And now Lynch. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And he will fall on this one himself. So no late turnover in time. So for the Seahawks, they boost their record up to a score of four and one. And they'll get a few extra days to savor this one before they I have greatly depleted this mountain of dirt. There's that major dick. They drop below five hundred to two and three with a loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem the home. Where the fuck did that creeper come from? Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports. I'm Brandon Gordon. Ooh, I just got a bone pipe. You want to hit, Marcus? No, I'm good. I, uh, I pass. Oh, he said he'll pass. <laughs> I passed that to Dilt Rainy, so. You did that to her. God, Dilt was like the Dope Boys. <laughs> yep. Hi, I'm Dope Duck, and I'm Dilt Rainy, and together we're the Dope Girls. Dope Boys. I said that he's on. I ain't getting shot at. Oh, started. Oh, Jesus. Time to go up. Look, we're pushing in. Oh, I'm in seventh. Mm -hmm. I missed the big one. I had no jazz. Marcus, why am I faster than you in NASCAR? At what track? Every track. <laughs> you don't know how to use presets. Marcus, I like, what track, fool? What track? <laughs> <laughs> what track, fool? <laughs> I'm better than you. I think he's faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drive the boat. I am the captain now. You listen to me. No, no, no. I'm the captain. So, TG was at the movie theaters one time and it was completely silent and there was like some kind of boat scene. I can't remember. He just said it loud as fuck. Let me drive the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, just. His pitch quiet is all he.